Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I am Ariana from Where Black Sheep Meet and today I have a post review on the diamond painting that I've been working on, which this video is going to be a little different. I'm not going to do the full unboxing because this is a diamond painting that I actually unboxed on my live stream. So I finally got down and finished it up. So I'm just doing the post review and the big reveal like I usually do. And I'm going to show you the drills that were left over and whatnot. So it'll just be a little quick video just to finish up this diamond painting and you guys can see the finished result. So this diamond painting is from Diamond Art Club and the painting is called My Garden Needs Tending and it's basically Poison Ivy by Mandy Manzano. So I'm going to do my little reveal. I rolled it up as I was working on it so that I can see it all finished in one giant picture just like you guys are. So it'll be a surprise to me as it is to you like usual. But let's go ahead and unroll this because I'm really excited to see it. So this picture is a 22 by 29 inch picture or it's a 56 by 74 centimeter picture. But let's see, how's best, which direction is best? We'll do it this way. So as I was working on it, the colors were super vibrant compared to the picture. Um, that you're placing the diamonds on. So I'm really expecting a lot of pop of these reds and oranges and golds and browns and reds. <laughs> there was a lot of reds. All right, let's see. I'm telling you, look at this color. And she's gorgeous. She's absolutely stunning. Look at that. That is so pretty. Look at the colors. Yeah, lots of red, lots of greens too, but that red was a lot. And there is also a ton of AB drills in this. Um, it was like that orange uh, color with the coating on the top. And there's like blocks of it here. There's blocks of it down here, uh, there's bits here, down here. So it's like everywhere. And then there was a bunch of like, just blocks, whole blocks of AB drills, which is the Aurora Borealis, if you don't know what those are. They just have the extra like um, iridescent holographic sort of coating on them so that it makes them like extra sparkly. I'll zoom you in so you can kind of take a peek at the color again. Um, like I said, I unboxed this and showed the drills in my, one of my live videos. So I know you didn't get to take a peek at what the colors really were. There also was another AB drill and it was just the white one. And it was just like this little bit here for the highlights. And then there's a little bit here, some in her hand, a touch there. And that was, oh, and then a little bit down here at the bottom. But other than that, that was pretty much it for the white drills. Let me turn it, see if I can get a full picture. If I turn it this way, maybe um, I'll pop this in just so you kind of see the full thing. Um, but yeah, she's really big. She doesn't fit in my camera, which is a surprise because usually they do. Yeah, this one's really big. So I'm going to have a little difficulty finding a frame for her, but I'll see what I can find. But yeah, this was it. It had 31 colors. Like I said, the two AB drills. And this is by Mandy Manzano. So let's go ahead and I will show you the drills that were left over and my trash drills. So this is it. This is all my leftover drills. And I have a lot of everything. The ones that I had like the least amount, which was like these two had a little bit left over. Um, I think that was it. Yeah, anything else? That's kind of a little bit those, but we didn't really use that much of these colors in the picture anyways. So it wasn't like I felt like I was running out. This is like a lot compared to what I started with. Um, same thing with the white. See, there's, there's a tiny bit, but there wasn't a lot to begin with. I did have one full bag of 310, the black, 
and some left over from when I opened. So there was a ton of black left over, which will be nice. I will save this and use this in a, I don't know, future project. I'm gonna put it with all my extra drills and save it, or, save it away for a rainy day. Uh, but otherwise, yeah, that was all the colors, but you can see it's definitely a fall sort of theme, fall colored theme here. So let me go into my trash drills. So this is basically it. This is it. That was all my trash drills. And the main issues with these drills is if anything, it had the little extra like little tabs or like thumbs on them or they were broken, or they were like these super tiny little pieces like this. If anything, I had a ton of these little ones left everywhere in all of my colors. Not in all the colors, it was in a couple of the colors, but that was mainly it. They just had it like quite a few of these little tiny ones, but it wasn't like annoying. It was just noticeable that there was a couple. But this is it out of that whole painting, that giant picture, <laughs> this was all the trash in them. And they weren't even like big deals. Like I said, it was just a couple of those few small issues uh, that made me bring these out. So this is completely reasonable. I'm shocked and I'm amazed that this is how much trash was in all those drills that I used. And it's probably the least amount of trash I've had in the maybe four or five, five or six different paintings I've done so far. This is the least amount of trash I've had. So I'm really impressed. This was really great. Um, I know another thing I haven't been doing, but I, I'm trying to remember to do is I'm going to measure this because I do know that some companies, they'll say a certain size on the canvas and it's not, it's like the size of the actual canvas and not the picture size. And sometimes that makes a big difference. Like you can see like this is what, an inch and a half or so on each side. So that's a good, like almost three inches of extra picture. So it would make a big difference if it's not the same um, as stated as far as the drill, the drilling um, part goes. But let's see, what was it supposed to be? It says down here, it's supposed to be 22 by 29. So this is, as you can see, exactly 22. And then this is supposed to be 29 from top to bottom. It's maybe like, Oh, like a 1 16th shorter than 29. It's like so close. But I imagine it would be 74 centimeters. So let's line this up. Oh, it's about 73 and a half centimeters. So it is slightly shorter, but I mean, that's not a big difference. That's, you know, like I said, 1 16th of an inch. So. <laughs> It's really not a big deal. I can only say good things about Diamond Art Club. I really can. I feel like I started with possibly the best company and now I can't stop doing them. <laughs> I have a ton. I think I have like 20 something Diamond Art Clubs in my closet right now, right here. And all I wanna do is do another one. I know I, sh I should not you know, do so many cause you guys probably wanna see a variety of different companies. But there's so many videos, review videos out there for the different companies. And if they don't have licensed artwork, I will not put it on my channel just because I don't want that liability of copyright uh, coming back at me. So I'm just going to stick with companies that have licensed artists and licensed artwork. I think, or at least I hope that the fact that most of my diamond painting videos will have a unboxing to time lapse of the whole picture to the post review. I'm hoping that will at least have some sort of satisfaction for you guys so that that way uh, you won't mind me doing so much Diamond Art Club, but I'm not gonna lie, I probably will have a lot of Diamond Art Club on my channel. Not sponsored, not affiliated, just I love their canvases. I love their kits. They have such great kits. 
and their artwork. They have so much different kinds of artwork on their website. So I guess all in all, you know, you know how I feel. Like, I think this is proof you guys can see it here. Yeah, she's stunning. I'm so excited to have this up on my wall, which will be this wall over here. Eventually, I will have artwork up on there and different diamond paintings I've done. And I'm not gonna frame all my diamond paintings. I'm just gonna do a couple at a time. I think switching them out every couple weeks or for the season, I think that'll make it really fun and um, give some life to all of them at some point in time. But that is it, you guys. I hope you liked seeing this post review. Um, like I said, I will try to mix up my diamond painting companies a little bit, but for the most part, this is what you're gonna see because I really enjoy doing kits from this company. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you come back next time, whether it's for my diamond painting videos or my sewing tutorials or my little cross stitch journey that I'm on right now. I'm always putting all kinds of crafty videos up. So if you like those kinds of things, make sure that you subscribe and then you wanna hit the bell to make sure that you get notified every time my videos go live, which I try to get one up every Wednesday. And if not, then I at least try to go live. But otherwise, I hope to see you guys all in the next one. Bye.